turn to the domestic economy. Thanksgiving is coming up, and uh, some good news, at least, that we're hearing in terms of inflation and the price of uh, turkey and what it's going to cost people at, at home to buy it uh, to, to get through Thanksgiving has come down, but it is still more expensive than where we are uh, in 2021. Um, how do you think about where we are in, in this inflation battle? So I think we're making considerable progress in bringing inflation down. And we saw this clearly in last week's news. 12-month um, headline inflation is down to 3.2 percent. That's um, down almost six percentage points from its high. But although um, prices in general are rising much less quickly, Americans still see uh, increases in some important prices, including food, from uh, where we were prior to the pandemic. And um, th this remains notable to people who uh, go to the store and shop or rents, although they're rising less quickly now, are certainly higher than they were before the pandemic. So I do think we're making considerable progress in bringing inflation down. But um, Americans do notice higher prices from what they used to be accustomed right. to. Um, and importantly, you know, we're making this inflation progress while maintaining a strong economy and a strong labor market. So that's good news for Americans. Madam Secretary, it may be good news for, for, for Americans, but it doesn't seem to be showing up in the polls uh, for President Biden. And I also want to uh, read you something. Uh, a recent poll by The New York Times and uh, Siena College finding 59 percent of voters under 30 rate the economy as poor. So, you know, philosophically and sort of intellectually, you can look at a lot of these numbers and say, this man, this is a, a great economy in so many ways on a relative basis to history and the like. But at the same time, you have poll numbers and others saying that they don't feel it. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And I think it's our job to um, explain to Americans what President Biden has done to improve the economy. I think as inflation comes down, uh, prices stop rising and the labor market remains strong. Um, Americans will begin to see that we have made meaningful progress. And importantly, the administration is making investments in America that will show up in improved conditions um, and more availability of good jobs uh, in many parts of the country that have not seen a lot of progress. We've had good economic results on the coasts. Many parts of the country over the last several decades have been left behind. And now, as a result of the trifecta of legislation that's been passed, the infrastructure bill, the Chips and Science Act, the Inflation Reduction Act. We've we've had over five hundred billion dollars in manufacturing investments that have been announced. We're beginning to see some of those come to fruition. Um, uh, a new battery belt uh, in the middle in the middle of America in places that really need good jobs. Right. And I think this is really improving America's prospects over the medium term. And over time, Americans will see that and feel more hopeful about our prospects. Madam Secretary, I also want to turn our attention to some of the geopolitical issues that uh, we are all facing. Uh, Ukraine and Israel, um, the Biden administration has this $105 billion security age package um, on the table. What's the chance that it uh, it gets passed before the end of the year? Well, um, it's a critical priority for the president and critical to the national security of our country. Um, I can't prognosticate about the timetable on this. Um, I'm pleased that Congress has passed legislation to keep the government open and running. But it really is essential that uh, this aid be provided both to Israel and to Ukraine. We can't allow uh, Ukraine to um, 
lose a battle uh, on the home front because it lacks enough money to keep uh, school teachers in the classroom and first responders on the job when it's fighting valiantly um, on on the battlefield. So uh, Ukraine is utterly dependent on this aid. We need to join um, others. The the uh, our European friends are uh, providing have provided 50 billion euro of. Um, aid to Ukraine over the next four years. The IMF uh, has provided over 15 billion. They need us to do our part uh, for this to hold together as a package. And of course, Israel um, urgently needs aid as well. And these, this aid is critical to the national security of America. Um, we, uh, if Putin were to win this brutal war uh, in Ukraine, uh, next we might see him attacking a, a NATO ally of ours. Um, we need to stop this.